All right, kids, it is time for the sermon in a box. And so I'm going to invite you all to join me up front, and we're going to see what's in the box, and we're going to see if it can teach us something about God and his word. Let's see what we have brought in the box this morning. Oh, this is a little bit of a scary sermon in a box, because uh, this morning we have a snake we have a snake in the sermon box. This is a great, wow, look at this. I love this snake. He is great. I'm going to set him right there. I think he looks kind of cool. All right. There are snakes in the Bible, right? There are, there are several examples of snake. There's, of course, the snake in the garden who tempts Adam and Eve. But there are, you know, this makes me think of some other snakes. When God's people, when they escaped from Egypt, they were out in the desert. And they got tired of being in the desert. They got tired of being hot. They got tired of being hungry. They got tired of being thirsty. And so they started to complain. And they complained against God. And they said, you know what? We want to go back to Egypt. We want to go back to slavery. We hate this so much. We don't trust you, God. We don't trust where you're leading. So take us back to Egypt. And you know what happened as a result? Because of their complaining? Snakes. Snakes came into the camp and they started to bite the people. But God didn't just let that happen. God was still, even though they complained, he was still merciful to them. And he told Moses to take a snake and make not a stuffed snake, but one made of bronze, of metal, and to put it up on a pole. And God said, whoever will look at that bronze snake and trust in me, they'll be healed from the snake bite. And then later in the Bible, Jesus was telling the world and his disciples about how he, was a, he would be crucified on the cross. And he used that story. He said, I'm going to be like that snake. Lift it up. It is a big one. I bet that one was even bigger. It is great. But then Jesus said, if you will look to me, if you will look to what I have done on the cross, you can be healed from your sins. You can be healed from God's judgment uh, because of your sin. And so let's let snakes not only remind us of temptation, but they also remind us of how God forgives us through Jesus. That was an excellent sermon in the box. Thank you for sharing it with us. All right, who are we going to send it home with this week? All right, Junia, we'll send it home with you.